Hi, my name is Phil Ebner, and in this video, I'm going to give you a free preview of a lesson from my WordPress for Beginners course on Udemy.com. In this lesson, you'll learn what hosting is and how to install WordPress on your web host, such as Bluehost.com. The first thing you need to do if you want to build a WordPress site that's live for the public is to purchase hosting. Hosting is the back end of your website where your actual files are saved. WordPress is the framework that allows you to edit your website, but it's not where your files are hosted. There are many different hosting services out there. I've used Bluehost for a number of years for all of my websites and I can recommend it. There's other ones out there that other people recommend like HostGator, but I'm going to show you how to install WordPress with Bluehost because it's what I would do if I were you. Now, for other people, if you're using another host, I'll try to include resources for how to install WordPress on those hosts as well. So to get started, I'm going to actually walk through the entire process. If you go to bluehost.com, what you're going to wanna to do is click get started now. You can select your different plans. These different plans have different options. So if you go with the basic plans, you only get one website. You have a limited amount of space for that website. Even though 50 gigabytes seems like a lot, it potentially could get filled up if you end up having a huge website with lots of files, photos, those kinds of things that you upload to it. You can only have up to five domains, 25 subdomains. These are things that as you grow, you might wanna consider upgrading. And that's another thing, you can upgrade to any of these accounts later on. These other ones include different types of things like unmetered uh, bandwidth and space and websites. But for this class, I'm just gonna go with the basic one just to get started. If you already have a domain name, you can submit it here on the right and you're going to have to transfer it. Say you purchased a domain name from godaddy.com or Namecheap or another domain registrar, you're going to have to transfer it to Bluehost. If I want a new one, then I click over here and I can choose a new one. For this website test, I'm going to create a website based off of my very simple woodworking designs. So I'm gonna call it Ebener Designs. Now .com is the best one, but if I want something cheaper just to play around with, I can use a .site or some of these other different domain extensions. So let's just click next to make sure that this domain name is available. It looks like it was available, so the next thing you would do is fill out your name and all of your information. And then under your package information, you can choose which package you want. So for example, on Bluehost, there's different packages and the deal gets better the more months that you pay for up front. So choose the price that fits your plan. Now there's different options that you might wanna consider. One is domain privacy protection. This is really important. And if you click any of these more information buttons, it will give you more information about it. If you don't have domain privacy protection, then your address and your email address are actually out in the public once you register for your domain name. So I would consider that one. The other one, Site Backup Pro, Search Engine Jumpstart, Site Lock Security, all of these things, we're going to be learning how to install plugins that do just the same thing, but for free and some other options. So I wouldn't recommend not choosing any of these over here. Lastly, you input your payment information and then click Submit. So go ahead, fill this out and purchase your hosting before moving on to the next step. Once you have signed up for Bluehost, log into your account and under hosting, click on cPanel. Then click install WordPress. It'll take you to this new page and say, get started. You're going to choose the domain name that you just registered. For me, I have different domain names that I've purchased. I'm actually using my main account for Bluehost now because I can purchase multiple domain names under the same host. So now I can click ebenerdesigns.com, which is the new website that I want to build for this course. Select that domain, leave the directory empty unless you want it to point to a separate website. So if you typed in home, for example, then when you go to ebenerdesigns.com, it would take you to ebenerdesigns.com forward slash home. So leave it blank so people can get straight to that domain name. Click next and then it will show you your admin username, email address, and password. Check these two boxes saying that you understand that the install will take place on this domain and that you've read the terms. Then click install. 
Once you get this installation complete banner up here, you're ready to rock and roll. You'll also receive an email with the web address and your information for logging in. So go ahead and go to the website address, which will be your domain name, .com or whatever your extension is, forward slash WP dash admin. This is how you log on to your WordPress site. Now input the username or email address and password that you were given in the last step of installing WordPress. Great, now you have WordPress installed for your brand new website. Now to log on and to edit your website, always remember that you're going to go to your website URL dot com forward slash WP dash admin and then input your username and password. The Bluehost account or your hosting account is separate and you might have to log into that to adjust things to register new domains or things like that. But for the rest of this class, we won't be dealing with hosting as much as just with your website itself. So whether you're using the free option of ServerPress or a hosting option like Bluehost, we now have WordPress installed and are ready to start building our own website. Thanks for watching. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is just a free preview lecture of my WordPress for Beginners course. The entire course has hours of content and premium support if you ever get stuck. So I'd love to have you inside that course and you can enroll now for just 15 bucks. Click on the link below and we'll see you in class.